It's like a CT meter setup. So you've got, um, I believe it's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus uh, 2 for your main lines in. Um, so what it would do is calculate how much energy you're using by the, your uh, current draw. Uh, it sends it via a Wi-Fi signal. Oh, there you go, by a Wi-Fi signal. And uh, using that through their app, you should be able to tell uh, you know, how you're doing as far as your electricity goes, ways you can improve. Uh, so this is going to go in this. So I'll give you an update when I get started. I've got a 200 amp main, uh, so the big CTs that it came with will go on there. Uh, then what it's able to do is I put one of the CTs on a 220 as long as it has a, uh, um, you know, a similar uh, ampacity or you know, current draw, the software in it will allow you to double it. So you only need to put one on your 220s. So in this case, you know, this guy here is double tapped. You know, probably shouldn't be, but it's just running a uh, a back feed for a um, um, a generator, or you know, I could run this this kiln off of it. Um, that's my uh, that's my air handler, I believe. Sorry, my my range. That's my range. So it's not like I'm going to be using my range while I'm trying to use my kiln, or I I know whether or not I need to. Um, you know, everything else, you know, isn't double tapped or everything's else running singularly. Uh, I've got 16 uh, built available, you know, spaces to put on this, but I got 30 in this panel. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here with an ammeter and see what's being used or utilized and then identify those maybe with a white piece of tape or something. Uh, so I have to use it one, two, three, four five now these here are uh, hot water heaters so it's it's all one hot water heater so you just do a multiplier of six off of one of the units so uh, that's one two three four five then I've got six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so that leaves me one two three four five six that I either need to combine <clears throat> on the same uh, phase <clears throat> or I can uh, uh, just not use them with this unit. I've purchased two so technically I could uh, separate them out but I'll probably only end up using one in this panel and then sell the other one to a customer. Uh, I am an electrical contractor in Pinellas County. Uh, I'll continue after I've gone through this a little further. Ammeter here. Uh, went through, identified all the, the 220s I want to hit. Um, I'm able to put multipliers on guys like this. You know, that's my tankless hot water heater that requires three, uh, 240s. Um, the, um, the other circuits either are high ampacity or I've, um, they're high ampacity and I put them together with the one that was like zero ampacity or low ampacity. Uh, identified like washer which isn't on right now uh, refrigerator which wasn't on right now so like this circuit here which I have identified as higher ampacity um, you know isn't too too bad you know it's about a third of an amp uh, this one right here together uh, 2.1 amps so what I found is as long as you're using the same phase, you can put them together for identification purposes. So if you do the multiplication on it, or the addition on, on it, uh, this one is running at 0.12. This one's running at 2.12. You put them together and it's 2.15. So that's just additive. So it's, this one's running 0 0.09 right now. Point, sorry, 2.12. So they, they add together. Um, 
So this here is very low. Uh, both of these I didn't mark, but when I put them together, they're on the same phase. So that way I can identify it as one of the ones that need to be uh, monitored. So I'll go through later and identify what they're all connected to so I can mark them inside of my app. Uh, I got yelled at by my wife for turning power off because my son's doing his schoolwork, um, staying at home here. All right, so you know, once I get all these ammeters on, I'll be able to plug them into their device. The device has uh, eight uh, like, like microphone jacks, more or less, on the back side. Uh, on this side has eight, on this side has an eight for 16, and on the top has A, B, and C for your phases. So I got phase A and phase B. Um, it says to put the logo going towards the meter base. So it also shows K and L. Um, couldn't really find any literature in there, but seems like it's asking for which way the load is going. Um, so that is that. These guys just get tucked up in here. They'll end up going down into here. This thing has an antenna that can go through one of the knockout punches. So I'll get a knockout over here knocked out and then it'll have an antenna hanging out at the bottom. So once I get this thing filled up, I'll take another video. Connected to the circuits I wanted to install them to. And as you see, it's a jumbled mess. Probably something that shouldn't be inside your panel. So I'm gonna try to clean it up and get it all stored away. As you can see, I got the, uh, um, the antenna in there. Okay. Um, it's not the neatest of jobs, but they don't really go the correct direction. You, they kind of need to end up going away from things, maybe put towards the back, um, maybe done when things are getting installed before the bigger wires go in. But overall, everything will be hidden behind the dead front of the power panel. Uh, so the unit's down here. Everything appears to be plugged in. I'll know better when I hook up the app, the, the application, and run it to my Wi-Fi. Um, showing a green light on here inside this guy here. There was a, a beeping sound when this thing first got powered up. Uh, it's powered up. This unit is powered up by the white and blue wire attached to the neutral bar. Uh, on mine is also the ground bar because it's connected with a, um, a bonding uh, screw. And then I have it tied in uh, the black and red wire is tied in with a pre-existing circuit. So I think the next video will be how the app's working. I have the Emporia view hooked up inside of the power panel and I have the Emporia app installed on my phone. Uh, you can see that it's collecting data. The, uh, the biggest draw on power right now is my air condenser and my air handler uh, and then circuit 7, 4, 9, 15, 3 and then the other ones are all zeros so eventually this will populate. I expect my tankless hot water heater to be the most. Uh, it normally would be in a situation where you know you can decrease your power usage but with four people and unending hot water heat, you know, they tend to uh, use a lot more power, you know, when they realize that they never have to turn the hot water off. Uh, so this number will be significantly higher in the future. Uh, overall, this is saying that I am using uh, 43 cents per hour. Um, obviously that's going to go up and down depending upon, you know, if the AC is on or off, if I'm using the tankless hot water heater or not. Um, so if you calculate that at 24 hours times 47 cents times, you know, 30 uh, days in a, a month, you could approximately get your power bill. 
Uh, our power usage here is about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And I'm in Florida on uh, Duke Energy. So we'll see how this works over time. You know, through this, you can see how your, your AC is doing, see how, um, you know, the different devices are, uh, are performing in your house. And once it does populate over time, there'll be a lot more data for me to show you guys. So I'll probably do an update on this, let you guys know how it goes. If you have any questions for me, something you want me to address or take a video of, uh, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, trying to uh, monetize this channel in the future. Thank you, and you guys have a good day.